Pflanze. Hi everyone, my name is Gurpreet and I am a grade 11 student. I am going to make a YouTube video on this lab, the Magnesium Oxide Lab. And this is my assignment, therefore I am going to try my best to make you guys understand every concept of it. To start with, what is the purpose of the lab? The pur purpose of this lab is to experiment to determine the percent composition and the empirical formula of magnesium oxide by the reaction of magnesium solid and oxygen gas. So basically what we are doing is we are taking magnesium and we are going to combine it with oxygen O2 which, which, which will give us MgO. But we don't know the subscripts for MgO therefore we need to find the empirical formula of it. The materials we are going to use are electronic balance laboratory burner and ring clamp, crucial buttons, glass rod, magnesium turnings. We are not going to use magnesium turnings, we are going to use some stones of magnesium you can say, sparker, clay uh, my pyramid, clay triangle, goggles, retort stand, clean crucible and picker. So with these materials we are going to start our lab. Step 1. Obtain enough magnesium turnings to cover the bottom of the crucible. Oh, and I repeat, we are not using magnesium turnings, therefore we are going to use magnesium stones. So our step would be obtain enough magnesium stones to cover the bottom of the crucible. After doing that, assemble the apparatus as shown in, as shown in the picture. And you can see the picture set of the material as shown. After doing that, step 3 has 3 parts and you have to record the mass, mass of 3 things. So first thing is record the mass of clean and empty crucible with lid. And this time the mass was 30.68 gram. And second part is record the mass of crucible, lid and magnesium. And this time the mass was 32.68 gram. And last part of step 3 is to measure the uh, measure and record the mass of crucible lead with magnesium oxide but we cannot do it now because we have not done our reaction yet so we don't have magnesium oxide therefore we're going to come back to this um, part C after moving on to step 4 with the lid off place the crucible containing the magnesium on the clay triangle heat the crucible with a strong flame using the crucible tongs Hold the lid of the crucible nearby. When magnesium ignites, quickly cover the crucible with lid. Continue for one minute. So you heat the magnesium and when it ignites, you cover it and wait for one minute. After that, you move on to step 5. In step 5, you remove the lid and you heat the magnesium again. And when it ignites once more, you just do this step. You do step 4 again. So you cover the crucible, right? And you do you keep on doing this until magnesium no longer ignites and after that you heat it for further four to five minutes. And after doing that, using the crucible, put down the crucible or oh pardon me, using the crucible tongs, put down the crucible to cool it down. And in this lab we can ignore step seven, eight and nine because we are using magnesium stones, not magnesium turning and therefore using the crucible tongs carry and carry the crucible and lid do the balance measure the measure and record the mass of crucible with lid so this time we are measuring the mass of a uh, crucible lid with magnesium oxide so this time we refer back to step 3 pass c which says mass of crucible and magnesium oxide and that's the mass we get from step number 10 and you record the mass and this time our mass was 33.22 gram and last step is to dispose the magnesium oxide as instructed by your teacher and you are done with your reaction time to answer some questions so now we are gonna do our questions but before we do our question we are gonna go back to our observations and if you remember we had to 
record three masses and let's go over them again so first one was the mass of clean empty crucible and lid and for that we had 30.68 grams and second one was the mass of crucible lid and magnesium for that um, we got 32.68 grams and last one was the mass you would get after doing the experiment and there was the mass of crucible lid and magnesium oxide and that one was 33.22 grams with these observations we are going to answer few questions so let's answer them so our first question is what is the mass of magnesium did you use in the reaction and to do that you basically take the mass of crucible lead and magnesium which is 32.68 grams and you subtract the mass of clean crucible and lead so you just is empty crucible right so you subtract that mass and it will give you the mass of magnesium you used and second question is what is the mass of magnesium oxide which was produced right and in order to calculate that you again take the mass of no this time you take the mass of crucible lead and magnesium oxide this is the mass you record after doing the experiment which was 33.22 gram and you subtract the mass of clean crucible the empty one which is 30.68 gram and it, it gives you 2.54 gram and question number three question number three is calculate the mass of oxygen that reacted with magnesium so in order to do that what you do is you take the mass of magnesium oxide and subtract the mass of magnesium which you used and it gives you 0 0.54 grams so the oxygen we used was 0 0.54 grams and moving on to question number four question number four says use your data to calculate the percent composition of magnesium oxide and to do that what we are going to do is first we are going to take the mass of magnesium let's use the gas format so what's given so mass of magnesium oxide which we found is 2.54 grams and then we know the mass of magnesium uh, which is 2 grams and then we know mass of oxygen which is 0 0.54 gram to let's find the percent composition of magnesium first so magnesium in order to do that the formula is percent composition equals um, mass of magnesium divided by mass of MgO times 100 this is basically how let's say you did a test and you go like 90 out of 100 right how would you calculate your percent uh, how percent mark right so you would basically divide 90 by 100 and times that by 100 and it will give you 90 percent right so basically we're doing the same thing we're taking the marks of magnesium magnesium and dividing by the total marks right so this time is mass so mass of magnesium divided by the total mass times 100 and let's go over there so it will give us this, so the mass of magnesium is 2 grams and divided by the total mass which is 2.54 mass of magnesium times 100 and it gives us 78.7 percent so 78.7 percent is percent composition of magnesium in MgO so let me go over it again so first we were given the we've actually calculated the mass of MgO which is 2.54 grams then we calculated the mass of Mg 2 grams and calculated the mass of oxygen 0.54 grams to find the percent composition of magnesium we divided the mass of magnesium by the mass of MgO and times it by 100 here 2 grams divided by 2.54 grams times 100 gives you 78.7 percent and to calculate the percent composition of oxygen percent 
composition of oxygen you basically uh, subtract 78.7 from 100 and it gives you 21.3 we subtract it from 100 because everything is out of 100 because you cannot have like 105 percent the maximum is 100 percent and since we don't have any other element in our compound and uh, we we are going to subtract the percent composition of magnesium from 100 and which gives us 21.3 and 21.3 is our percent composition for oxygen so yep so let's move on to number five oh chart easy so number five we have to determine the empirical formula of magnesium oxides oxide my bad so let's start filling the information we have so mass percent we already figured that for mag magnesium is 78.7 and for oxygen is 21.3 that's percent so if we had like 100 grams 100 gram of sample we will have 78.7 gram of magnesium and 21.3 gram of oxygen and to find the molar mass of molar mass of magnesium in this sample you need to find the you need to know the atomic mass of uh, magnesium and oxygen so if you look at the periodic table the atomic mass of magnesium is 24.31 and for oxygen is 16.00 to find the molar mass you take 78.7 and divide that by 24.31 it gives you the molar mass of magnesium in the compound right and we get 3.24 so when you divide 78.7 by 24.31 24.31 you get 3.4 and you do the same thing with oxygen you take 21.3 and divide that by 16 and it gives you 1.33 and to find the number of moles you basically divide the mass by molar mass and why we do this is easy let me show you here so formula to calculate molar mass is mass divided by moles right and we are here trying to find the moles right so you you can take mole to this side and you bring molar mass to that side so basically you divide both sides by moles first and let's do it moles and then you get moles times molar mass equals mass and then you want to solve for mol moles right so you divide both sides by molar mass and you get moles equals mass divided by molar mass so that's why to find the number of moles you divide the mass here and uh, with the molar mass so if when you do that you divide 78.7 with 3.24 you get 24.29 and for the oxygen when you divide 21.3 with 1.33 you get 16.02 so our lowest value is 16.02 right so we are divide both number number of moles both number of moles for magnesium and oxygen by 16.2 so when you divide 16.02 with 16.02 you get 1 when you divide 24.29 with 16.02 you get 1.5 or you can say 3 over 2 so our empirical formula we get is, is gonna be mg 3 over 2 or 1 but we never see fractions as subscripts so now you you times mg and o1 both with 2 right to get rid of the fractions so when you divide both with 2 so this cancels out like this you get mg3 and you times oxygen by 2 you get o2 so our magnesium for empirical formula for this is m is m G three or two. You might already know that this formula is actually wrong. Uh, I'm gonna explain explain you why it's wrong. 
uh, in a few minutes. So as we saw the next next question or oh, mm, question after the next the last question, we explain why this is wrong, right? So our next formula is. Uh, uh, question is actually the empirical formula of magnesium oxide. We just figured it out. It was Mg three O two. So now question number six, right? This is the part of five. So yep. So question number six is the write the balanced chemical equation for the reaction of magnesium with oxygen gas uh, using your experimental empirical formula. So let's do this. So f we we had magnesium solid plus O2 that's what we because we heated it right so it basically reacted with oxygen and it gave us our empirical formula Mg3O2 and it was solid right so basically now we need to balance this here we have three magnesiums here and we have one here so let's put three here and now see three magnesiums on left side three on right two oxygens on left side two on right so this chemical is equation is balanced and the reaction type for this is synthesis they don't ask for it but just for your knowledge this is synthesis because we are combining two things into one and our last question here we go okay the actual formula should is MgO right the actual formula is MgO but we got Mg 3 or 2 we probably did something wrong that's why we got mg3 or 2 but in this question they ask us if we got the wrong formula and we need to tell the reason for it right so for that a reason is can be because obviously we did the experiment right no one is perfect so basically we made some errors so first error was when we were doing the experiment we broke our crucible we didn't break it Fully, it was a little crack, therefore, we lost some of our magnesium oxide, so it affected our calculations. And the other reason, other reason can be human errors, such as measurements, because anyhow, you will never get anything perfect, right? And the another reason it can be not igniting the magnesium properly this can be another reason so in this case you would have like more magnesium a little bit of magnesium and rest of would be magnesium oxide and if you do this experiment you won't get the right, right formula don't freak out it's just because humor errors we do make mistakes but we know we know our mistakes we learn from them so if you do it again you should get MGO so this is last question we are done our lab if you have any questions comment and don't forget to like our video if you like it